Yo, 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 it's your boy Tim Lee Glean. I'm coming at you with another one, another one of these videos. It's, uh, it's been a very long time. Um, since coming out with one of these, I said that I was done doing this, but I'm done saying I'm done doing anything. I'm just gonna just do. And on top of the Bible studies and just, you know, prophetic words and things like that, I just wanna come with different content I don't care about like specifics anymore, just trying to do a specific thing or one thing, you know. I really just want to just express myself from porch therapy sessions. It's funny because I was looking back and I was watching some of my older episodes and I was realizing like that's when that fire to do content started it started with this series in the first place and I was very intentional about just sitting down and just getting some thoughts off my chest to get some things off of my mind and, and things that I may have held in for a long time that I never expressed and it's very it was very therapeutic to me so now to be here once again a year later ah oh man I'm at therapy again you know but it's from a more reflective place because at that point it was more so I was in in that that little fiery place that I was in you know and and now I'm like outside of that of course I believe that we all in this life go through our own trials our own battles and just the things that we're fighting with every day you know but when I when I speak of the perspective that I'm coming from now I'm very much healed from a lot of the stuff that I was speaking about before. And just looking back at some of them videos, it's just some things that I that I said that I don't 100% agree with now. And I believe it's because the perspective that I have today. And I'm just thankful. And even right now at this very moment, you know, just, I've been blessed to, you know, go, I would say, I remember that first week of April, that's when I, that's when I started this um, true celibacy. You know, not just abstinence, meaning abstaining from women um, until marriage. Um, so I'm waiting until marriage. So it's been over four years now since being with a woman um, in that way. And as of now, it's been over a year of semen retention. And I thought I'd just kind of explain some things because I feel like a lot of us, we got the wrong perspective on this practice. And it's because, and not to say I got the wrong perspective, because when I started watching this, I'm walking with God. But I just want to tell you the revelation that I had from all the videos that I've watched these past two years. Because um, I've been interested in this thing for about two years now. It's just... It's been the past year that I've got to really practice it. But before that, I was in it for five months. And before that, I was in it for three weeks. So I lasted three weeks, relapsed. Lasted five months, relapsed. And now I'm here in one year. And I believe the way that the enemy works, he always tries to present things to tempt men to, I don't want to call it a streak. I just, I just want to say just release that life. I don't want to count this as no shriek. That's why I said I'm not counting no days. I haven't been counting days. Rule number one when you're on this journey, don't count. Because the more you count, the more that you're going to remind yourself. And the more that you remind yourself, the more that you remind yourself that you could go back. You got to move forward regardless. Even if you slip up, you got to keep on moving forward. And I feel like the issue is when you don't have the context of knowing Christ, then you will always fall into condemnation. You know what happens with condemnation? Well, I broke my streak, so might as well keep on going. Might as well just, uh, might as well, no. Because one thing's gonna lead to the next thing, and the next thing will lead to the next thing, and bam, now you have a baby with the wrong woman. <laughs> you know, so, if I could give you some of the greatest advice ever, is to keep on pushing. Don't count the days. Like I said, I ain't no super duper guru. Some people, somebody, it's funny. I, it was like when I was over 250 days and I put a comment on a YouTube video. Somebody said I was at God level. It's like, yeah, I have no idea. I'm nowhere near God level. As long as I'm in this flesh, 
I'm always tempted to sin. I'm always tempted to go back, you know, but just to practice this practice is a blessing. And let me tell you, I don't use this term cap, but when I tell you a lot of the things, even if they don't walk with God, no cap, these guys are correct. You may have watched a lot of videos, but you probably haven't watched it from the perspective of somebody that's walking with God and acknowledges Christ as our Lord and Savior. That's what makes, I feel like, my perspective or the perspective of anybody that's walking with the Most High a bit different than anybody that's just living a life. But let me tell you, when you're practicing this practice of semen retention and you're holding that life inside of you, that life that's inside of you that you could be releasing is putting life into your actual body. It revitalizes you. Do we have plateaus? You know, yes. We have what they call flatlining. I had about, I had months of flatlining. I believe my flatlines were different than a lot of other people. Some people are different though. You know, I had months of it. Months of flatline. Months of fatigue and, 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 and feeling drained and just, you know, I, and I feel like that's just a part of this whole thing. When you're doing something good, it's not going to be easy. When you're refraining from something that's so natural to you and not doing it, <laughs> there's going to be physical repercussions that come with it. There's going to be things that, that arise inside of you. There's going to be sensations and feelings and, and there's going to be irritations and pains. And I don't want to get into too much detail. You already know. <laughs> um, but it's such a blessing, you know, so... It's crazy, like, and I know it's vanity, of course, but, you know, I think it's proper to mention, you know, even physically. If you were to, like, if you're, like, naturally, my body is more cut. Meaning, like, when I flex my muscles and stuff, like, I'm naturally more cut and I'm naturally stronger. Naturally. With no exercise. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> like I said, like a lot of people might you might say that's cap. No, I'm telling you, like, listen to me. You will physically look stronger and be stronger naturally on this practice. I don't think it's gonna happen within a week. I don't think it's. But when I look back, I'm stronger than I was before this practice. I'm the strongest I've ever been in my entire life at this age, 32 now. You know. A lot of people talk about women attraction, opposite sex attraction, female attraction. 100% true. And I started this practice where I wore this poppet ring. I got it at uh, at my old job. I, I, I got it at, um, I was having a little like work party thing and they had the poppet ring there and I remember just seeing it and I just put it on my finger and just started rocking it. And the intention was, well, I was playing around at first, but the day after, I'm just like, you know, I'm going to keep this on. And the next day, I kept it on. I kept it on again. I'm like, you know what? Let me discipline myself to put myself in a mind state like if I were married. And even though I'm not married, I'm a single man. But if I were married, would I be talking to this woman like this? If I were married, would I be looking at this woman like this? Because one day I believe I'm going to be a husband. And if I'm going to be a husband one day, I, I desire to have a level of self-discipline. Now, I'm a man. And as a man, if I see something, <laughs> my eyes may, but, you know, it's, 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 it's a different level of focus now. You know, just being on this practice for so long, you're not even going to think about certain things anymore. You're going to be so focused, you're not even going to think about no woman. <laughs> you know, and... I feel like once you're on your purpose, that right woman gonna come. And she really gonna be a blessing to your life. She ain't gonna come into your life and cause you drama and hurt and pain. And once again, you get her pregnant. And then now you got court and baby mama drama and child support. And you can't see your child. And <laughs> this happens to so many men. Or you might marry that woman. And then just so she can get bored and divorce you. You know, so there's... There's really so many, there's so many more 
pros than cons. The only con that I will say about this is that you will feel loneliness. That's the only con. But as long as you are productive and busy, you'll be all right. Now, if you're in my position where you're a single father of three whole human beings, I started a whole family with somebody, and then I have sole custody of them. I'm reminded every day that I don't have somebody with me raising these children. So it's a lot different for me than a man that doesn't have no children. If you have no children, you need to focus on you. You need to focus on what you need to do, because one day you will have children. Focus. And I'm telling you that this practice will help you focus. If I have children, I'd probably be a millionaire right now. <laughs> and not to say, like, I regret my children, you know. Um, I'm blessed, you know. The Most High blessed me. All glory to the Most High to be able to pay my bills, to be able to do what I need to. You know, I ain't going to talk too much about my life or anything or my finances or anything like that, but... Just know, if I ain't had my children, if I ain't had children and I was on this practice, I'd be a millionaire. Ain't no way, no excuse. If you on this practice, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, and not to say you will be a millionaire, you will be a, a you know, like six-figure earner. I'm not trying to promise anybody anything. I'm just telling you, when you honor that, that's inside of you, and you work hard, and anybody that work hard, rather you're a Christian, or rather you're somebody of the world, because people of the world got these hard-working principles, and you, if you, it don't matter if you're of the world or what you believe, if you work hard, you're going to get paid. <laughs> Regard, if you work hard, you're going to get paid, you know? So, you're going to have more of a drive. You're going to... You're going to be more motivated, moved, and encouraged, you know, to do something, you know. But what are some other things that I could think of? Um, your mind. <laughs> clarity. <laughs> clarity. You got so much clarity. Think about your mind on that, on that filth. Watching X videos and P-Hub all the time. And watching certain fetishes and things. And then this is on your mind. You out at an event, a gathering, and, and you looking at a woman, and that stuff's on your mind. When I'm out at an event or a gathering, I eye to eye contact. You can gain a lot from just looking at somebody in their eyes and having an actual conversation. When you don't look at somebody like a piece of meat, you can actually gain something out of, out of interaction. You know, I believe there's great opportunity that comes when you're straying away from chasing women. Because when you stray away from chasing women, there's no other thing to chase but your dreams. <laughs> and... Okay, now if we're going to go into scriptures and, you know, religiously look at the Bible and, and things like that. And we aren't to chase anything. <laughs> you know, yo, what's good, bro? We shouldn't be chasing anything, ultimately. You know, the, the and I don't even want to use the term religiously, you know, but we shouldn't be chasing anything. You know, as far as, you know, what's truly meant will come. Even purpose. You know, with the Most High, when walking with the Most High, it's about positioning. Positioning to receive. And I'm telling you, when you're on this practice, you're going to position yourself to receive a massive amount of blessing. And, I'm, and if you heard a lot of my other videos, I'm not one for prosperity gospel, but I'm telling you, there's prosperity. There is physical prosperity that comes. God will honor a man that withholds his seed. Meaning you don't allow your seed to leave your body. You don't put it in random women. You ain't even dealing with women. Literally, if you are celibate and you are holding your seed, God will bless you tremendously. And is it gonna be no? It ain't gonna be no easy road, easy path. It ain't gonna be no things fall from the sky. And why I believe things were harder for me than than other people is because I'm watching all these other videos. 
you got to think the enemy presents blessings and he presents blessings way quicker. So those that are of the world that are in this practice most likely will receive things sooner thinking that it's of God and it could be of God or what God allows and his sovereignty and how good he is to, to still allow this type of thing to happen these blessings to come and manifest in the, in the natural but when you walk with the most high man this is a sacrifice that you got to chuck up and things ain't gonna come as easy as you think even with hard work but one thing that will happen is a spiritual transformation. Like inside, you will be transformed and renewed. I'm telling you, if you give this up, like giving that up, help me quit smoking. I was smoking blacks and weed. I was smoking blacks for like seven years. Smoking weed for like eight. I was smoke. I was a smoker. Heavy. I was a heavy smoker. Heavy. Call me a pothead. Harold and Kumar, that was me and my twin. <laughs> that was us. We were high all the time. Blunt after blunt after blunt after blunt. I was high. I was lit. That helped me quit smoking. And it, it was almost immediately like, like, it was a month later, of course, because it was April last year where I stopped that. But May of last year, I, I stopped smoking. That led to a, a deeper level of clarity. But it led to a deeper level of, you know, part of my testimony now, a deeper level of seeing my traumas and issues and the things that I had to overcome and the battles that I had to face within. You know, when you deal with social anxieties and feel like you have to be on a substance in order to be around people, it, that's unhealthy. And it was very unhealthy for me to be in that space where I felt like I had to, I had to drink. And when I quit drinking, I was got heavier into the smoke when I quit drinking. Praise God for me quitting drinking because that was, that was, I was an alcoholic. Like, I ain't drink. I was an alcoholic. And it wasn't good. It affected my life and my mind and just everything, you know. And I feel like it affected my life as a father. And I was a more effective father over these years because I quit drinking. But even so, just... I smoked a lot. I smoked a lot. Um, you know, so when I look at myself quitting that and being able to see myself, like, even just being on this practice, I got to face myself in ways. I used to run for myself. I used to run, straight up run for me, run for my fears. I would run. I was a coward. <laughs> Being on this practice made me brave And I'm not saying if you're not on this practice That you can't be brave I'm, ta I'm talking about me personally and, and my walk with the most high And my walk in this life You know even so Being in this practice My brain is able to retain more information At a higher level But this is how my brain works And this is how I work And I believe whatever the Most High has blessed you with, gifted you with. I believe that He will increase that. I believe that rather physical ability, mental abilities and capabilities, every single thing when you're on this practice will be heightened. This is no exaggeration, no cap. You can watch all the videos of whoever, like rather they're a Christian or believe in the Most High God and Jesus that He died on the cross for our sins and then who that whoever and or anybody that believes in the universe or this and that and these practices and Kundalini and just whatever they believe in. I listen to all the perspectives of everybody and I've heard this common thing and, and the main common thing is female attraction. Or they'll say the law of attraction where things start coming to you. New job opportunities, new opportunities of, of, of finance and just physical blessings. Just to be able to focus, to become stronger, more cut, more physically fit. To, to be more driven and just ultimately drama free, a peaceful life. <laughs> like... I went a whole year. <laughs> it's been over a year. <laughs> I'm not shooting no seed. I went a whole year. <laughs> but this is funny because like 
I'm still thinking about if you knew me, I was addicted to this thing for 20 years. 20 years. 20 years of masturbation. 20 years. 20. 20 years. My life has been flipped upside down for the in this one year. I've been blessed tremendously and I could tell you about everything. I could tell you about the new job opportunity and the loss of the job opportunity just to get another opportunity. I could tell you about getting a new car. I could tell you about being able to pay all my bills. I could tell you about the increase in my credit score by almost 200 points. I could tell you about, <laughs> you know, just, just my children and just them growing. My children are growing. Like mentally and just, just, just spiritually they're growing and they're learning about the righteousness of the most high. Just me growing in leadership qualities and, and capabilities and me growing in just other skills and, 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 and other facets that I can make money off of. But just beyond making money, just <laughs> other hobbies that I got to read books, <laughs> draw, <laughs> things that I ain't doing years I got to do. You know, and being on this practice has been very much a blessing. I want to get deeper into my testimony, but I really wanted to just kick off this series. Like, I'm going to get into my testimony. That's not going to be in this series right here. My testimony will be me sitting. I'll probably be in the house sitting down or something. So I'm going to get into that. But I just want to get it's warm outside now. If you know about living in buffalo or any of the surrounding outskirts or areas in buffalo new york or west new york as a whole we are one of the worst cities when it comes to winter so it's finally warm out so i can get out here and, and record these videos um but ultimately i just wanted to revamp this porch therapy sessions i ain't gonna do no season two or no anything i'm just gonna just flat out just continue you know, based off of that last video, enjoy your singleness. Um, and I dropped the ball in many of those videos that I was watching. So going back and watching those videos very much motivated me to want to continue this series. Um, and just forget, just, just, I'm a content creator. I'm just going to do what I do. I'm going to create music. I'm going to release it. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to work. And I'm going to get paid for the work that I do. But I'm going to come here and do this as well. And if I can get paid off of this too, you know, that'd be nice. But I ain't even looking for none of that. You know, I feel like demonetization and just when you're walking in the truth and speaking about things in the most high, they gonna hate you for that. They gonna try to strike you and flag you for that. I've seen examples already, but ultimately, I'm gonna trust in the most high's plan. I'm not gonna put anything negative out. But if you rock with the content thus far, um, you know, I got Bible studies, things like that. Once again, I'm a Christian and, um, you know, so I'm not somebody else coming at you with this content, but you know, just just the, the final some final words I have to say. You know, just I know there's gonna be teenagers watching this, and you know you got TikTok culture that shows, and there's lots of women out there, pornographic images and all that stuff that's pushing you young boys right now to release your seed. I'm telling you right now. Leave these girls alone. Leave these little fast girls alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. You know. You got a lot of men my age dodging bullets now. And a lot of these women got daughters. Hold that life that's inside of you. By the time you're 12 or 13, you're capable of letting that go. You're capable of that at 12, 13. Me as early as 11, I got to. Eleven all the way up to 31 years old. That is 20 years. I've been socially awkward. <laughs> Anxiety through the roof. Shy, timid, a coward. But I got so much more to tell you in my testimony. But until then, you know, 
because I really want to get deep down into the nitty gritty of just my journey. I don't just want to talk about this 100 days. I want to talk about when I was 10 years old and I first watched one of them tapes. <laughs> I want to get to that point and, 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 and get to where I'm at now. So when you see the result of where I'm at now, it will give God all the glory because that's all I want to do on this page. That's all I want to do in my life, my existence, is to give the Most High all of the glory. Not me. I didn't quit. I didn't stop. The Most High has sanctified my soul. His Holy Spirit moved me to stop. Through the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. So, I'm grateful and thankful. And give him all the praise. But yeah, if you rock with the content, you know, subscribe. Uh, visit my website at www.timmyleeglean.net. Um, that's where you'll find, you know, my music content, production company on there, clothing company on there. I got uh, like merchandise like a jacket, polo, t-shirts, hats, you know, hoodies, you know, and just, you know, so many more things to come, you know, but, um, Keeping the line simple right now and just, you know, whatever else may come, it's going to come. I'm going to trust in the most high God. But regardless, I thank you for watching this video. I thank you for just watching all the content that you've watched so far. And if you came on to my channel based off of those Bible studies and prophetic words and you're seeing this, you know, just know that this is just another facet of something that I want to do on my YouTube channel is kind of to get some therapy off and, and, and speak some thoughts and of course correlate some scriptures with it but this is just kind of like a revamping it just you know a little announcement man it's, it's been a whole year it's been I would say over 370 days of semen retention I've held this in for over a year and <laughs> Even if you've been on this journey for less than that, you know, just pat yourself on the back, even if you did a week, because a week is better than one day. <laughs> even if you did one day, one day is better than no days, you know. <laughs> if you did a month, a month is better than a week, so don't beat yourself up, you know, and if you fall, just get back on that horse and keep on riding, and that's that. Pause. <laughs> God bless her.